Did your parents ever do like the birds and the bees shit with you? What's that? Which one? Like the, the talk about, you know. I don't know. I never had to yeah. talk with my sex? parents, bro. I can't lie. Nah. I, my dad talked to me about it once. What's birds and bees? Yeah. Yeah. It's like sex. Oh. You just said that's what you just asked. Oh, that's what I said. I'm yeah. sure you said nah. Nah, 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 like, did he? Oh, did they have that conversation yeah. with me? I don't yeah. think so. No. Nah, nah. like, they kind of skipped it? that conversation and just mm-hmm. said, don't, don't get do that. That's, that's it, bro. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Don't get a girl pregnant. Bro, yeah. It was the worst conversation of my life. Oh, you actually had probably mad awkward. Nah, because, uh, so I switched from Christian school to public school in grade nine. So I went to Christian school my whole life, but I was like, I was a fuck up. So I was getting in trouble <laughs> every single day. I was always in the principal's office. Then I actually had to leave because these niggas wanted to expel me. So uh, my dad's driving me to the new school. And this nigga, he's, he's like, Isaac, he's like, you know if you get in trouble at this new school, I'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> he's like, I'll beat you until next week. <laughs> so this nigga, was, this nigga was just threatening my life. Threatening me. Before so, you done anything. Well, before I even did anything. <laughs> and then he's like, and then we're finally pulling up in front of the school. He's like, wait. He's like, we need to talk. He's like, the girls at this new school, he's like, they're going to want to do things to you. <laughs> he said, they're going to want to do things like suck on your penis. <laughs> you are now listening to The Black of the Berry, The Spirit of the Juice. Most record I make. <laughs> what was that? Your name now. You just say your name. Uh, why are you asking that? <laughs> so the DX, and then you say I'm sure. Basically, you're just, you're like, you want the best of three worlds. <laughs> like you was, you're scaring me. Now I understand why the girls are running with me. Because all this time I've been thinking girls are crazy. Now it makes sense. Keyshawn. Yeah, That shit is not funny, bro. Stop saying that shit. That's just pretty funny. What do you say? <laughs> Crazy, bro. Ha, <laughs> 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 no. Wow. Okay. Didn't play with the mic too much, bro. You saw me just talking to it? Huh? You saw me talking to it? No, I think it's fine. I think it's fine now. Um, but yeah, don't don't play with the mic too much. Cause I realized it made a lot of noise. And I, I barely watch these things, man. Oh. The youth of nowadays, everyone must be smoking. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. What are you guys up to? Yeah. How much, man? Bro, I just finished school. That's it. School? Yeah, I miss summer courses. Still? Yeah, up till the end of August. Damn. Yeah. And you go back September about. too, eh? Yeah, bro. Damn. <laughs> that's, that's, like sh- no break. that's straight away. Yeah. So how many weeks? How many weeks do you have off? Uh, I finish next week, uh, Friday. And then after that, I start up again like first week September. All right. So I get like two weeks, maybe three. I'm going to just work and then I'll go back to school. Which, where are you working? I'll just get a construction job. I'm going to do that. <laughs> this guy, you like, <laughs> you like construction, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like bills. construction, bro. It's a workout, though, you know? Pays no cap, bro. That's just Pays not as fun. How much <laughs> so is it, tired. again? Is it like 22? Oh, it really depends what you're doing. Like, certain jobs can be like, like 20. Then some jobs can be like 25. If you know how to operate machines, you could be making like 30 an hour, but... Are you able to um, find your way to become like some kind of manager or something, supervisor? Uh, yeah, they call them like foremans. Yeah, you gotta take you gotta take some courses for that. But yeah, it's not that hard. It's really <laughs> easy. Cause this guy, um, what was his name again? He was telling me one summer that he literally just blacked his way into it and just managed to become a supervisor. You just yeah, sit in the the supervisor. You just watch niggas. Yeah. Do. That's simple. <laughs> <laughs> and getting paid the most for it. It's crazy. <coughs> Same as contractors. Yeah, bro. The niggas that are slaving are making 70 <laughs> bucks an hour. 70. The, nah, 17. 17. And the nigga that's watching them is making 30. It's just crazy. That is crazy. But that's it. Tell us about your Toronto trip. How was that? 
Bro, it was just full of arguments. <laughs> <laughs> Those boys, it was just full of arguments, bro. What did you go for? Um, Culture Land Fest. Bro, peak. Yeah, I heard Second day, lots of complaints and all that. Yash, bro. Uh, <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> <laughs> bro, a lot of Toronto festivals just ass. Shit. <clears throat> I can not shit but yeah, yeah shit. they just went to shit <laughs> they went to shit right. um, I can't remember what the what the festivals they were but like I saw I saw Coach Line I saw her on the news mm-hmm. I woke up that morning I was having breakfast I looked up at the TV I said shit I speak bro <laughs> I was even talking to, I was talking to someone I was like um, the amount of money that the promoters made that he's probably just dipped and ran away with. Yeah. But yeah. then the out here saying they want to give refunds. Well, good luck. Yeah. And who's, good. Get, who's getting the refund? You're about to get it? Bro, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> if they're giving it out, I'll, I'll put my name forward. But <laughs> they don't want to give it out. That's none of my business, bro. None of my business. I've already paid the money. I was uh, seeing Burn Alive. Yeah, he's sick. He's sick. Like, um, the... Performers I want to see before I die. So there's Burner Boy, Beyonce, Chris Brown, uh, who else? Asha. I want to see Asha. I don't think I should be performing no more, bro. No, he, he, he does. He does? Yeah, yeah he, he does. just had a show in like Vegas. Oh, shit, I didn't even know. Yeah, he does, he does, he does. Maybe not as often, but. Hmm? I said maybe he doesn't perform as much like now. He got, um, they got to pay him, you know? Yeah. Huh? You know what? I said they got to pay him. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. A lot yeah, more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He got hurt exactly. back there. How is that the only thing you know about him? Because I heard that's why it wasn't popping no more. <laughs> they went into hiding. So yeah, like, <laughs> How does herpes affect his music, bro? I don't know. I think it just kind of like tanks his career a little bit. Young boy has herpes. Young boy's a goat, though. Nigga, so Usher's not a goat? Where's, he's where's, not, he's, where's Young Boy right now? Nigga, Young Boy's making millions. That's what he's doing right now. Where's he, where is he? Bro, he, Usher definitely. He's not on house arrest anymore, but. Uh, so he's a criminal? Nah, he doesn't live in. Uh, <laughs> he moved out of the kind of support are you? <laughs> Bro, actually, I don't know where he's at. Oh, look at you. <laughs> loyal, Mr. Mr. Young Nigga, Boy. Young he's boy switching super, yeah. location. The ops are after him. He can't help it, bro. Bro, Usher he's, definitely yeah, has more money. He's making millions. Young Boy, bro. Not for long. Okay, okay, think about it. Think about it. We only know the legal amount of money that Young Boy's making. Though. Yeah, but bro, think about the longevity though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Think about how long Usher's been out. Yeah. Think about all the years, bro. Since we were young, like Usher's been. Yeah, popping. but you also have to remember why the fuck do you think the feds are after Young Boy? Obviously, because he's doing some illegal ass shit in these streets, nigga. He's okay. made bro so, together. Wait, 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 Rico Kids, so you point? need to be making bear guap. He's saying that I mean, my nigga, if you, if you account that's for not, it's not just the guap, legal bro. money he makes true. with the legal money he makes. He makes more, way more money than he actually think he does. Or his so he more. just also signed a sixty, uh, sixty how does that, million dollars. How does that have Atlantic? anything to do with what we're talking about? Because we're talking about who has more money. Yeah. No, we weren't. Yeah, we were. No, yeah. We oh, were you were. Yeah. I wasn't. What were you talking about? I was just talking about Usher, and then you came, you brought in Young Boy. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> because my nigga Young Boy may have it hurt me school. That's the difference. What? Young, bro, nah, because because he said Usher fell off because of herpes, right? Yeah. And then he brought yeah. up, and now I brought oh, up Young Boy yeah. has herpes. You know, so why would that affect his music? That's all I was saying. Young Boy dead ass raps about having herpes. Like and, that's and, the difference and between you're, them, bro. You're supposed to. Well, I'm not, I'm not supporting, but like, there's nothing you can do. But he can't get rid of it. I don't know how. Is this the goat? How? How? This is the goat. I haven't even heard his last album. So it's tough. Yeah. Actually, I mean, funny enough, I think him being that vulnerable, like in his music, actually drew a lot of fans towards him. Like, I'm not even okay. kidding. Yeah, because obviously he didn't talk about it for a while, and then I, I think there was one album where he actually started talking about like his personal, like personal problems. And, like, that stuff he brought it up in the song and it was like whoa you know everyone, everyone heard it but but what what did he what did he say that was surprising no i'm, I'm asking i'm asking isaac now oh have you listened to it as well yeah i listen to his music so like not as much as him but but i'm saying like, like what, what do you he think that draws his fans in no i'm saying what did you say once he started to become personal what do you say that you as a listener were like whoa i didn't know that or that could have been him kind of thing uh he definitely like i feel like when he's rapping or like with his music, I feel like he actually tells a story. Like he no, no, no. I know. I'm saying. Like, I'm saying. What did what what was say? Like for example, if Young you, Boy came out and said, "I'm making so much illegal money," mm-hmm. would you be surprised? 
No. No. So what did he say that made you surprised? Oh, I think <laughs> it was on saying. this uh, one song when he just like explains his life story, like he told about like his upbringing, about like how uh, when he was a little kid, his uh, his mom was a crackhead, so she wasn't with him. Then his dad was in jail. He got sentenced to fifty five years. Then so he was staying with his grandma, mm-hmm. and his grandma also died. Yeah. So he had to go live on the streets and shit. So then just like hearing about that stuff and then like having to like break into houses and do like illegal shit just to put food and like money on the table so you could eat. Like that shit, I thought that shit was surprising. So that probably drew me in. Like the it fact that he was in. able to put all oh, that the, the onto like a track. the drew you in. Yeah, the fact <coughs> that he was able to put all that Tell on the, the track. Story. Yeah, that, that shit drew me in. I'll say that. Okay. Yeah, young boy's <laughs> a good storyteller. So. Yeah, no cap. You know? I think he's very relatable too. Mm-hmm. In the sense where, like, <laughs> that was the last time you wrote that. No, not even. Like, like, you guys know what I mean? Like, he really talks about the shit he deals with. Like, yeah, he really gets into like not just oh. And I feel like if you look at him on the outside, you wouldn't expect that from him. I think that's another thing as well, right? But he really, like, he will be singing. Like, you can literally almost like you can hear that. You can like you can feel him through his music. If that mm-hmm. makes you can feel. He puts a lot of emotion. He puts his soul into his really, tracks. Yeah, no cap. Really feel, like, that's that's another thing as well I think I think that's probably what if that's the case I think that's probably what makes him um, makes him just, like puts him up amongst yeah some of us because bro so many rappers nowadays especially new ones it's very, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> they can't bro yeah. you know what I'm saying but I think that's probably what puts him up there because you know, there's a difference between just rapping for the sake of rapping and like when you now make an actual art form, like, you know, an actual art as in no one can do what I'm doing. That's where it separates you from everyone else. Mm. You know, like even like the baby, I don't know what exactly. I think for me, why I kind of um, drawn to him is, is his confidence and just how he carries himself. I can listen to one or two tracks, but after that, I can't listen to anything else. But then it's just like, what I'm drawn to him is, has nothing to do with his music. It's more of like his lifestyle yeah. and the way the way he talks, the way he carries himself. Like I, I listen to interviews, and even though sometimes I can't really understand what he's saying, but it's just like there's this air of like confidence, you know. And I kind of, um, that's what I'm drawn to, kind of thing. So yeah. I, I do get <coughs> now you explain it. I get why you're such a young boy advocate. You're not gonna listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna listen to that I, shit. I can bro. definitely put you on a few tracks. I'm alright. Like, <laughs> well, well, do you just think like young boy tracks are just all screaming or like? Eh? like what do you think? Do you think it's just him yelling on a mic or like? Because he has some tracks that are like you know calm. You know you can it's listen to it. Nah, it's just, yeah, it's, like, just, it's just I can't. I just can't. You know, you don't gravitate towards it. Yeah, I just can't. <laughs> like, it's the same reason I can't listen to the baby sometimes. All he's yeah. doing is yeah, nah, 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 the baby's not the same from that nigga though. Huh? I don't think the baby really be deep like that. No, no, I didn't say he's deep. But Yo, can you pass the Vaseline? Huh? The Vaseline? This guy wants my Vaseline. <laughs> uh, I mean, you be dry dead, Joe. Bro. <laughs> bro, my finger's not dirty, fam. <laughs> my finger's not I'm, dirty. That's not the point, bro. That's not the like, point. You know, like, I've left so many of people ashy, bro. Anyway. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy, crazy man. This nigga said, no, we got low shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, who just says your top three right now? Like, who you think's holding it down? Me? Yeah, for rap. Oh, uh, shit. Me, my favorite is Lil Durk. My okay. favorite right now is Lil Durk. Uh, Lil Baby for sure. Yeah. And then my third. I don't have a third. That's crazy. I have a third, but like for who I listen to a lot, I'd say he's low key. He's a Toronto artist, but I fuck with Doobie. Oh, yeah. Nightmare I fuck with Doobie. Yeah, I fuck with Doobie hard. Yeah, with Doobie hard. Yeah. Bro, I thought he was about to get signed because he was talking about Meek Mill and shit, but apparently he's he went like a shitty deal or something. Yeah, Meek Mill's always giving it. Bro, <laughs> he's always giving people bad he's deals. The cheapest nigga alive. Yeah. Bro, mm. Meek Mill. Yeah, yeah bro, he gets niggas bad. He gets people bad deals. deals. Bro. Okay. No, bro, bro, speaking of us, sorry to just speaking mm. of Toronto artists, that second day was where they brought out quite a few of the local artists, right? So Bodie was there, some mm. other girl, Tommy, and then some girl. Um, what's the name? 
I think it's Lola Banks. I don't even know what her name is. Really. Oh, no, 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 no. I know. Bro, Damn. she came out, yeah. She's like, I'm doing, I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do some drill. This mm-hmm. small skinny guy I said, What? I looked at Steven, I said, Bro, what the hell? She's bro, she started on smoke. I can't even remember what the song was saying, but at first I'm like, whoa, this is cr-. like she was she was spitting bars, but it was like very aggressive, like you bitches that are doing OnlyFans kind of aggressive. Yeah, I'm like, yo, step back. But then after listening for like a few more seconds, I'm like, yo, she's cold, <laughs> bro. I've never seen a girl rap on a drill beat and be good. Bro, some that I don't know what's in the Toronto water, but yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, some of the ones in New York. But there's some hard, hard ones. Yeah, I think yeah, it's, it's just because you mentioned yeah. Toronto. That's why. Uh, that's why okay. I thought about it. Cause I'm just like, yeah, I was uh, not expecting it. Yeah, yeah, there be some tough like Kenzo B, Sean yeah. B. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, man. Well, I feel like bitches like Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion just killing it for them. Yeah, but then the pop. Pop is never, it's not always. Yeah, because they be the making greatest. it feel like that all these girls just be rapping about like popping their pussy and shit. <laughs> like, bro, not every girl just raps about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Megan the Stallion is trash. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the fuck she Yo, be making the money, bro. I've had yeah, Megan the Stallion. She's so ass. Megan the Stallion <laughs> is just nyash, bro. Ass. Like, she's <laughs> fresh. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing that gets, it's is the same with is the same with, is the same conversation we have about Lizzo. the baby. I would say Cardi she does something. Better, to be bro, Lizzo needs to be cancelled, bro. Lizzo, Lizzo makes music. you listen to Lizzo's tracks? Nah, nah, because you know, you know, like in my whip, I gotta like plug in my shit. So there's like ten seconds of the radio, and every time I hear it's bad bitch o'clock, nigga, bro, nigga, that's a part of her song. Actually, I know she made music, nigga, bro. I she, she made music. You know, Lizzo made music. <laughs> Bro, that's what she's I just thought for. she was a personality. <laughs> no, oh, she's, man, she's for dead. The tracks. Bro. Nigga, she's ass. Like, she's trash. Oh, ass. they need to cancel her. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Cardi B is even okay compared the, to Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, Cardi bro, B, see, she's the, better this, than this, Megan Thee this, this is the Nigga, same, when she dropped Bodak Yellow, I was like, eh. I still see, thought the, it was the trash. Reason, look, but the she, reason, the same feeling you have for Cardi B and Megan right now is the same feeling I have. For say, NBA, don't. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me explain. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me explain because we're all looking at it from different points of views. You get what I'm saying? For me, I'm looking at NBA Young Boy from the music itself. I don't fuck with the music, hence why I can't relate to him. But then now you've explained he's a storyteller. Now I can understand. Do yeah, yeah. you get what I'm saying? Yeah, Whereas with these girls. With Megan, it has nothing to do with her music. Like, the reason she's so popular has nothing to do with her music. It's it all is? about her performances. Okay. And also the way she carries pers- herself. Yeah, yeah. The way she okay. carries That's literally it. Because, yeah. bro, come on. Yeah. Where else? Come I on. mean, does she really, like, she can't, how, how does she carry herself, though? Like, she carries bro. herself like a quote unquote, what they want to call themselves. Bad bitch? Bad, yeah. Nigga, she got so. shot. What's bad about that? And then she didn't, oh, actually, no, I don't know. <laughs> no, no yeah. Oh, wait, wait, did she actually step on glass? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that shit no is crazy. Yeah. That bitch is capping No, but my ass. point is, when you, from a girl's point of view, yeah, yeah. she carries herself like that. Do you yeah, get what I'm saying? Yeah, this is mostly, you know. Girls. Exactly. And Actually. then her performances, she does the whole ass. getting down, knees, your knees are vibranium. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> my video. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what has made her yeah. probably yeah, because her thing, music bro. is still nyash, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cardi B, on the other hand, it's the energy she carries herself with. It's yeah. the way she talks. It's her lifestyle and her personality. Her music is very popular culture, but what actually makes her Cardi B is. Cardi B herself has doesn't really have anything to do with her music because when she, like how she got really popping was just when she was doing all the stories about the strip clubs like all her experiences and oh, strip. Yeah, that's yeah. how she got popular yeah. and then she started doing music that's what then took her to the next well no one's insane that she actually went public that she used to like drug and rape men Whoa. and she did not get like no hate for that shit like nobody Whoa, cared I, I, did not not that, I did not know about that either. nigga yes because oh, nobody actually, cared i heard, about it I heard that she i heard that she drug like men and take like guap and shit yeah that, she that, used to like, do that money? shit 
but yeah, she used to do that shit when she worked at a strip club. <clears throat> but yeah. nigga, nobody cared because she was a girl. Well, what can we do? Or maybe the guys, you know, they just didn't care, bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I mean, nigga, it's sure you took my guap, nigga. I'm gonna be pressed. Nah, but like, lie. it's like she drugged them and then raped them. Like, I don't think the guys would care, you know. Like, <laughs> See, this is the problem. Niggas don't help themselves. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, help like, yeah, right. The fact that way he was having this conversation, exactly. and they, I'm not, that's yeah. why she's able to get away with exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. You know, that's why she's able to get away with it. It's a skewed perception of what that shit is, right? <laughs> we talked about it before, where it's like. You'll hear, <coughs> what's it called? You'll hear a, a female teacher had some sexual relations with a, ch- a student, and all the people in the comments are like, oh, yeah, W, W. <laughs> but if it was the other way around, it's like, oh, he's a predator. He's this, he's, you know? So. Nah, bro. Anyways, <coughs> welcome to another special episode. I'm your host, DX. Sure, up in the cut. Key. Keys. Man, like keys. Well, <laughs> two keys in the building. Yeah. yeah. Well, why? Why do they call you keys? Well, like <laughs> when I was at the uni, my homie from Atlanta, you know, like I told him my name and shit, and then he's just like, "Yo, I'm not calling you that." He's like, "Yo, I'm gonna call you keys." <laughs> And then we just <laughs> started. That's, yeah. yeah. That's how you make a nickname. That's it. I've been trying to tell my niggas, you can't choose your nickname. Your niggas make your nickname. Yeah. Who chooses their nickname? Oh. Yo, but this is like this nigga. Yeah, but he chooses shitty ass nicknames. <laughs> Wait, what Bro, you, is your nickname, nickname any better? You want to tell the camera your nickname? Your nickname? <laughs> I just said Q, bro. Like this nigga, why do you want to be called Q? This nigga, what does Q, Q have to bro, do with it? Call him Greek. Q. What the? F- what is what? Grape? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what did he call you? He calls me Grape. 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 Yes. Yeah, like, what's Grape? Bro? That's what I'm saying. So it's what like that's why hell? it's like, bro. Nobody's letting <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> you you let I, oh, that what's Grape? What I'm saying. Oh, I also show show. I come show show. Show show. That is what a baby would call you. That's cute, right? You see why she's nodding her head. Or shows even better. better. Shows shorter, you know. Yeah. Not show show, but. What does nigga want to be called Q? What does Q have to do with Q's clean, though. The yeah, mean. but I'm just saying. I have some correlation. Show show is the one that's going to be random. What's your what's what's nickname? You can get from huh? Didn't you choose your own nickname? No, I didn't. What's, first of all, what's your nickname? No, when uh, what's it called? So I don't want to go by my biblical name. Oh my it's too God, serious. Oh, here we go. What's your biblical name? Isaac. Yeah. It's in the Bible, isn't it? Is that too serious? It's just too serious. It's too formal. So I need something more relaxed. Which is. So the people call me Keyshawn. Jeez, the people. Who chose that? Who chose that shit? Who called you Keyshawn? Nah, uh, it was uh, this nigga. He called me Keyshawn because he just assumed that was my name because I was light skin. I so, mean, it works well. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I just I said, I right, call me Keyshawn Peters. And then niggas started calling me KP. Oh, bro. <laughs> the Peters. <laughs> Damn, bro. My name, that's a whole government is. name, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's a whole government yeah, name, bro. That's not, bro. That's a crazy bro. nickname, bro. That's a full on double barrel. And what's yours, buddy? Mine? Yeah. Isn't it DX? DX Docs. DX. DX was Mark, actually. Oh. One day you just, yo, DX. I'm like, whoa. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, bro. And then he just kept on doing it. I'm just I'll like, stay, so makes I'll sense. Stay. And then, like, bro, I, at the beginning, I didn't, I couldn't say it because it didn't make sense. But then now I'm just accustomed to it because he, he did it so so often. He just r- disregarded my name. Like literally, hi, my name is Doxa. Dx. Dx. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> cool. I don't really hear Dx. Bro, he do- I hear Dox. I hear no, this this anytime this thing I didn't notice until one day I'm like this guy does not call me my name. Dx. Dx. <laughs> Dx. Have you but ever seen D- anybody like walk up to you and say, "Yo, you're Dx"? Huh? Does anybody do that? Um, only people that, for example, listen to the podcast or, um, what else? Haircuts. Oh. And then just know me not through person. I do get people that come to me and you're DX. Because of like social media and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah I've had people pull up on me and say, Keyshawn. Oh, really? uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your social media? It's probably, the, the, <laughs> it's probably because of the pod. Yeah, it's most likely gonna be because yeah. before yeah, that, it's, it's, it's only your guys. friends that call you that, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but I know someone named is that exact name too, Casey. Yeah. Yeah. No, but DX has helped me, that. man. It's helped me because, bro, when I say my name, I have to say it like five times. Whereas DX, Doxy. they get it straight away. Doxy. Doxy. I don't even know why I have to say it five times. For yeah, I don't think your name is that hard, man. <coughs> Not that hard. Sheree definitely has the hardest name. 
Oh, sure. Yeah. My actual name. You think sure. Sure. This is his actual name. Oh, Sean's so, so, so <laughs> basically calling him Sure. No, oh, Sure is the nickname, man. No, Sure is definitely the nickname. Sure, Sure. 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 No, uh, um, yeah, anything we say that makes you laugh, makes you think too much, man. Black the berry, yeah? sweet to the juice, okay, sweet to the, the juice. juice, sweet to the juice. Yo, we need to start sorting out the live show stuff. I need to, I'll go to uh, find out how much the speakers are like, speakers, mics, all of that, the logistics, and then we can actually sit down and actually, no, we can sit down and plan out how we want it to go soon. So, we need to find a day we're all free and then we'll. We'll do that, yeah. But. yeah. August is a busy month, man. I'm not bro, to it is, and we need to be part month. of that business. Bro. Yeah, we need bro. to be part of that business. There's so much yeah. going on right now, which is good. But yeah, I've oh, got you guys two. try to do li- live shows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. How, how else are we gonna make money from this shit? Probably easy. Yeah, <laughs> you think we're doing this for free? All right, we have to we have to mm-hmm. find a way. I don't say it's, it's just a nice way to actually get people to actually like get like, involved yeah. with the podcast rather than just watching us on the screen like we're actually real people do you yeah. get yeah. bro I feel like that yeah. live show is going to be wild though yeah in person it'll be, yeah. it'll be yeah. nice you know? we have a, we have a lot of feminists that are going to be coming for a shred that British guy they don't fuck with these niggas I don't, I, I don't <laughs> even understand that yeah, I, don't fuck I mean doing some editing yeah. And they, um, have, they give some like toxic vibes or some shit. <laughs> While we doing the editing, I've actually been listening to the pod, mm-hmm. and Isaac says some crazy things. I Naturally, crazy shit, I bleep it out, but then when I, bro, I sit down, I'm like, the amount of shit I have to bleep out for this guy, I have to cut out. Bro, I was saying wild shit. Last Especially time. this last episode. Oh no, my which days! One? The last one we oh, yeah. oh, fuck shit! Oh my Ooh. god. This guy was was coming after oh with the community with with Vic the episode no the one that just nah, came out today oh that just came out today he was oh. he was probably, I had to cut out quite a bit I just was like no, 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 leave it in I said this guy you want to get us cancelled <laughs> what was the topic <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said what was the topic yeah we were talking about the LGBTQ oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I've always been an advocate for them though that's that's on the real. What? <laughs> I, I do. Ah, we're not disputing. We didn't say anything though. Yeah, we didn't say I, anything. I've been reposting that shit. Reposting, like there, there. Reposting what? On your IG story? Yeah, probably. <laughs> just, it's just during the month or all year? Nah, all year is crazy. All year is crazy. <laughs> hmm? Wow, I'm glad call out is crazy. Do. Beautiful ling- lingo as well. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Bro, I had to, <laughs> you know how hard I had to convince this nigga to come to the BLM protest? Bro, this nigga didn't even want to go. He said, Bro, I didn't want niggas. to go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why, Why did you guys want to go? Huh? Why didn't you guys want to go? Nigeria. Why didn't I? Why didn't you want to go? Yeah. It's because there was no point. Like, there was no clear purpose no in it. Huh. I thought yeah, you were going to say something. What, what was their goals? What was their goals? Huh? What was their goals? I don't bloody know. So oh, as in like what, what they to actually want to? Well, bro, the goal is to obviously stop whatever oppression we're still feeling. The police reform, the the way the um, politics and government treat us, and the separatism, all of that mm-hmm. is the underlying goal. But the manner in which you're going about it, remember the the metaphor that I gave. You're throwing stones at someone that is not involved. Yeah. The person that actually is the cause of this is sitting comfortably in the house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's just like. I can only do as much as I can for myself. Because now, by me going to the protest, look at the results of it, nothing. Yeah. And I would have wasted how much, whatever time I'd have gone to walk my feet. That's why we got to start looting. Well, because you want to steal some Gucci belts. <laughs> no, no, no. You're incriminating yourself on camera, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was so down for that, bro. I was oh, so looting. down. Yes. So oh. Loot what? Loot the city. Yes, bro. I, I was trying to get like, like I was trying to get a group of niggas. I was like, yo, let's push this polo park. Let's go. Let's <laughs> the hell niggas were listening, bro. Fuck, I was so mad. <laughs> but this was a younger Izzy. I was a little stupid. You gonna oh, five months ago? Nigga, that shit was two years ago. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, God, I watched them be great too. Yeah, it was actually. It was during COVID. Time yeah. flies, bro. Yeah. <laughs> there was very few. I was even there too. Yeah, well, I that shit to. was just a link up for us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't say link up. Don't say link up. Yo, I was there for a link up. Yeah, the whole city was there, man. Oh, don't make him a fuck, bro. The whole scene was there, but I was, you know, I was still marching, screaming, Black Lives you, Matter, did you, you know? did you have your balaclava on? <laughs> nah, nah. Or your bare face? <laughs> nah. <laughs> My bare face, bro. Walking. Wow, wow, this guy. <laughs> I had to sign everything, bro. He was wow. chopping it up. Yeah, me, I, I stay on my bread. Me, I read my Bible. Bro, you remember like, niggas went to the top of the list? See, ledge. any problem yeah. in this world? Reason? <laughs> like, for no reason. Any problem in this world is not my own. Let me just get right with God. That was my own. This black black beard, whatever. See, at the end of the day, when the second coming arrives, he's not going to be collecting all, all of us as a whole. When but the nigga, you probably when say that because it hasn't. Cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you probably you probably say that though because it hasn't directly affected you yet. It has, it has in many ways. Like it's in a that, very bad it's, way. It's just my my nature is just I just have to brush it off. This is the is it's the way the world is. It's just like me walking in like walking into a hundred meter hurdle yeah. and I'm complaining about the hurdle. Bro, I knew it was there. <laughs> yeah, but it's easier said than done. No, no, I know it's easier said than done. But I'm saying police or something like that. I know, but I'm saying personally, it's just something. I have to find a way through. Yeah. Either I find a way through or I find a way around. For example, bro, I've been stopped many times. Yeah. I've been stopped many times. But the way I go about it is I know I'm being stopped because I'm I'm black. Yeah. So if I'm in this country, I use my English accent, I abuse it. Yeah. If I'm in a country where my accent doesn't hold, then I just I'm very apologetic and I'm I'm open. I'm my eyes are open to whatever could go wrong. I haven't been shot yet, which is great. But like, I do everything in my power yeah. not to escalate whatever. Because a lot of the time, the reason why I'll oh, sort out. Bro, but I feel like if a if a lot of niggas still had that mindset, like let's just learn to work around it. I feel like we still wouldn't be allowed to vote. We still be like dealing with fucking oh, you're talking segregation. About, you're talking about history, like all of history. Yeah, if we had that mindset, let's just no, no, learn no. to all live of, around all it. Of, all of history, it doesn't work that way. With all of history, <clears throat> not all of history, but you get what you're trying to say. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, no, I get what you're trying to say, but I'm saying yeah. it, do, it doesn't work like that for everyone. True, you get what I'm saying? Because the, the reason why I just have to be accepting, or what why I choose to be accepting, and I choose to be submissive when these things happen is because worst case is that I die. Yeah. What else can I do? I would rather be in a position where I'm submissive and then they take that submission and say, okay, cool, let's let them go. Then I react and that reaction gets me closer to death or gets yeah. me closer to something going wrong. Do you get what I'm saying? So for mm -hmm. me, I just, I do, I just do, as I said, all that's in my power. Like them having the like initial thought of we're literally just gonna come here and arrest him, that's not my power. What's in my power is being nice, what's in my power is being understanding, what's in my power is trying to de escalate the situation as much as possible. That's all that's in my power. If that didn't work, bro, that's that's the end. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whereas like a lot of, <clears throat> what I find a lot of these things, what happens is that when the police come, we already know that they're coming to us because we're black. Then it's almost like a reaction to be like, is it because I'm black? Then you're going to irritate him. Like imagine now if he wasn't even coming for that, then you're going to irritate him because you're make, you're assuming he's the same as his, the other partner or the same as what's been on the news. And then he's obviously going to be angry. And then he's now going to treat you as, you know, some, like a perpetrator, whereas you're not just because you've pissed him off. Mm -hmm. So I think about all these things, I'm just like, I would just rather de-escalate yeah. than anything else. Bro, like, I have friends that the police hasn't even stopped us. They're doing F the police, fuck the police. Yo, don't let them see you before they stop us now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> I have friends like that, but for me, I'm just as nice and I, I, just, I just act as calm as I can because... As I said, worst case scenario is that I get arrested yeah. or I get shot. But, you know, yeah. I don't know that. 
I don't really judge because, like, you know, everybody's experience with the police is different. Everyone's been treated differently by yeah. them. Never know what could have happened to them. So some niggas are a little more aggressive when it comes to the police. Yeah. 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 But then... Especially in the States. Yeah, but oh, then yeah, at the end of the day, like, if you actually look at it, like, from an objective point of view, does aggression, like, if you look at the percentage of time aggression works in altercations, yeah. it most often than not get, makes the situation worse. So, I mean, we do have a good percentage where it does make it right. Mm. But then, for the majority part, whether it's an alteration, altercation between you and your friend, alterca- like, altercation in general, aggression is always what makes it worse. Mm. So, that's why, when I speak from experience and also speaking from an objective point of view, that's why I would say there's no point in getting aggressive. Yeah, for real. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. But then again, as I said, like, my experience... It's, it's not yeah, yeah that's yeah. why that's why i keep saying Your everything experience. i keep to myself even blm i keep to myself because yeah. again my because for, for example like someone that's going to blm there's one person that is probably going to go there just to take pictures and whatever their experience of of being black is peaceful mm-hmm. the fact that they're just going there to be part of the protest it shows it's just being peaceful Whereas someone that's going there with the mission of actually, I want to make a change. I want to loot. You bro. can tell. <laughs> you can t- you can tell. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, bro. You're not trying to make a change looting, bro. You're not trying to make a change looting, bro. Change bro, looting, bro. Change oh, looting, bro. You got to show them we mean business, man. <laughs> So what, you're going to step pull on fire? Wouldn't be down. You're going to show pull on fire? You, you would have been down. Fire, I know you would have been down. Nah, bro. And then the person to pull up, you see Foot Locker? I'm civilized. You know, I'll be, know I'll be pro- pro- testing. You know, it's peaceful, bro. That's what I'll be doing. Well, I know for a fact, like, I know bare niggas. It just like, give me a pair of J's, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all, my, all my friends have, like, a very bad experience with the police. So I just understand. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Like, from a very young age. The funny thing is, like, look, from a young man point of view, mm-hmm. right, and this goes back to the first couple of episodes and, like, the people we brought on, be it your friends and even my friends, we yeah. can actually see that sometimes, and I say this expressly, sometimes the situations that we get into, we have partial fault. Mm-hmm. But a lot of the time when we tell these experiences to our our friends and our peers, we elude away from that. We try and just make it all the other person's fault. Do you get what I'm saying? So like, I'm not saying this is the case for everyone, but I've noticed that sometimes when even, even for example, <clears throat> um, so no names, but so I think it was like a few years ago or something like that. Some people, one of my friends, they were having a party. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is like during lockdown times. The neighbors called the police. The police obviously came in, and then one of my friends, because I like I wasn't there, I was being told the story that she got arrested. Mm-hmm. So then I was just, like, because they were saying, "Oh yeah, that they were, the police were they were moving mad. They just took her, arrested, blah blah blah." And it's crazy. Me, I'm like, "Whoa, this is crazy." But then, you know me, I like to ask questions. So I said, "What? Well, what happened?" Yeah. yeah. So they, they explained it. They said the police came in. As soon as the police came in, she was shouting. She was going at them. Why are you here? Blah. I said, well... Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying like that's, that is, gives you, a, you know, a reason to arrest her. Yeah, but you didn't but, have a situation. But, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There's your part that you played in the fact that they then took you away. Or they... Yeah. Not... She didn't get like... Comp- like put in jail or anything yeah. it was just she was just detained yeah. but you played your part but then this is what I'm saying when they tell the story to us most times we don't really ask questions we just mm-hmm. join in and enlighten the fire of how, why we hate the police yeah. exactly yeah. we never ask what did you do because sometimes yeah. <laughs> they could have done something our brother in the Lord he's a, he's a great example of that yeah. he's a great example of that he like there's so many things that he does a consequence will happen to him and the blame is on everything else when he tells you the story oh this guy uh, <laughs> guy what did you do yeah that's the only question we have to ask when he then explains it we understand oh it's, it's you you were the reason <laughs> you got what I'm saying yeah. but you know that that's why like for me like when it comes to 
like people in especially our generation where we have this idea of freedom of speech we have this idea of like you know we can we can actually say something and do something about what like whatever we're experiencing we kind of forget our levels and we kind of forget respect for certain things especially when it comes to like police and authority mm -hmm. there should be a level of respect when it comes to those situations bro there's been times where i've been speeding the police will come it will stop me and then when they come i'm as ap apologetic as possible i make up any lie oh i'm late for an exam i will make up any lie bro but i'm apologetic mm. and i'm smiling mm -hmm. bro <laughs> i'm smiling nice through one. my teeth bro like because at the end of the day i'm trying to soften up as as much as possible mm -hmm. so i don't nice. get worse <laughs> no they didn't say pause anyways they pew that's what the Jamaicans say, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, because even... This is another another story. So, um, first time I got a ticket, mm -hmm. um, I didn't know what to do, right? Brother in the Lord, he was just like, you, you can actually dispute it and get it lower. I said, really? cool. Uh, let's go together. So he said, oh, we have to go to court and then dispute with the judge, blah, blah, blah. We got there. And then the funny thing is we actually ended up going at the same time to two different judges but our cubicles right were right next to each other oh i think you told us yeah <laughs> so now i'm a cubicle judge says okay cool you were speeding uh, uh i think it was like 18 or 60 zone but it was only 60 zone because of construction so i was just like you know, british oh, accent you know i really pressed the british i said oh that um yeah this is the first time i'm driving <laughs> Um, you know, like I, I drive back home. I don't even drive, bro. I only started driving here. I say, yeah, when I'm driving back home, you know, you know, back in England, it's like 60, we do miles per hour and not kilometers per hour. I was begging sweet talks before you know, we're starting to talk about experience. Oh, when did you come here? I was giving her, was a girl. bro. Yeah. I was asking all the questions, bro. I was just putting butter on it. She then said, "Oh yeah, okay, cool. I understand. You must have been tired. I like how how much do you work? These times I was in uni, I was like, oh, I'm a full time. You know, there's a lot of stress on me. It was just late that day." I was just, oh, you know what? I'll reduce it. So I think it was like a six hundred dollar ticket. God, down. It came down to two hundred dollars. Down. <laughs> Actually, it was heavy. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> bro, I said thank you so much. I asked her name. She gave me a name. I said she I gave cool. you a number. No, no, no. She's just crazy. I was trying to get out of there, bro. <laughs> so as I was leaving. <laughs> 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 I'm hearing shouting in the next cubicle. <laughs> so, I'm like, what's what so I start walking slowly so I can listen to him. So the judge to him, he was, he was like, so we're speeding. He was like, no, 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 no. So he was like, oh, so you're not speeding. So you're telling me you're you're stupid then. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. I was I wasn't speeding that I I was just trying to make so it's like, oh, so you can't read? Because I know that. Yeah. He said, what, what, what's, what's the limit on this thing? He told him the limit. He said, oh, so you need the limit. I said, Shh, this guy's on the jeopardy, bro. He, oh, my God. But then he, it's, it was one of those things that like, all he has, see, just say sorry. If he says sorry from the beginning, I bet you the judge would have just, it would have been a quick process. You'd have been out of there. But then again, uncle wants to argue. He wants to show that he's not stupid. He wants to show that he wasn't speeding contradicting himself bro he came out i said yo what's the you <laughs> said my ticket's the same <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i said bro he said all of that argue you do with the judge wait no so you guys in the same car and they slapped you no no no, no, no. And like we had two different tickets oh okay. it's just the same day that we went to the court because oh. i didn't know what to do my first ever oh, ticket right, i didn't right, know right. I didn't know I could dispute. It was when he told me, oh, you can dispute. Then yeah. I was like, oh, I'll come with you. But the guy was <laughs> pressed, bro. That's crazy, bro. Six dollars is crazy. Bro, that's what I'm saying. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. no, that, that, was, that, was my, that was my first experience of how stupid he can be, to be honest. Any of y'all getting crazy stories with the cops or not? With the cops? Oh. No, as I bro, I told you. I try and de-escalate before anything could go mm, crazy, bro. Do you? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I said my first... My first time running in with them was probably like grade 10. 
Because I remember, I remember. Were you listening to Young Buck? Well, niggas, niggas, <laughs> niggas were idiots. Niggas were idiots. So I remember me and uh, the <coughs> niggas in my school, we used to do this shit called slap boxing at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. So we used to do it in the oh. basement of the school. So me and my nigga were doing our shit. So this thing, uh, it's like a big group of niggas, like 20 of them surrounding us. So this nigga slaps, bro, like we're going out here. This nigga slaps the shit out of me. And like, there's shorties watching this, you know. Nigga Your eyes got to you, yeah? Yeah, so I was like, I had that. Yo, I was walking away because the round is done. Once you get slapped, the round is done. Yeah. And this nigga runs up behind me and slaps me again. Oh. I was like, all right, bet, bet, bet. So I was like, that's what's up. So nigga, so we're going. And I cast him to the right. I cast him with another one. He falls to the ground. And then... I grab his legs, I pull him in, and I keep going like, bop, 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 <laughs> on his face. Yeah. And then I hear, stop! And then it's my fucking principal and the police. Oh, so, oh. nigga, I go like this. And then they're like, stay right there, stay right there. And then, so uh, I was like, yo, it's just a game. As soon as I say it's just a game, this nigga grabs me by the neck and throws me up against the wall and throws me on the table. I was like, all right, school, I got my niggas. My niggas were gone. <laughs> they fucking ran away. These niggas are choking the life out of me. And then the nigga I was beating the shit out of him. He gets up, he's like, yo, it's just a game, it's just a game. Leave him, leave him. And then these niggas, then they got taken we got taken up, up to the office. We were banned from the cafeteria for like months, bro. That shit yeah. was this is great time. How old are you? It was a great, great time. time. <clears throat> nigga, at that point I wasn't even scared. I was just like I can't let my dad figure out. Yeah. God, no, that, I, I mean, that's, that's the case with the older one. That was the only thing I was scared of. I was like, if my dad yeah, figures out, it's yeah. 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 right. done, bro. It's <laughs> done. <laughs> what about right. you, do you have Uh, No, nothing crazy like that. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, bro. I've been pulled over just honestly, like, just because we're black, you know, driving in like yeah. uh like we were in like a 300 and we just got pulled over because we're black, you know, they're just following us the whole time. Yeah. You know, they pull up, <laughs> they pull up deep on us. Uh, pull up my this camera, start recording, bro. No. Yeah. But that's crazy, bro. Choking you, bro. Bro, that shit was. I wouldn't allow that violation. I can't allow. We used to have cops <laughs> walking <laughs> in our school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I use the video. You have a you video. video? You have a video right here. Down, down, yo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then right from there, that's when the police pulled up. God, boy, that shit was insane. How old were you, in grade ten? I was like fifteen. Fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, I was fifteen. I was crazy, right? You're oh. active. I was a good kid after that. <laughs> good kids. Yeah, mm. well, I was so happy my parents didn't figure out, bro. That shit was gonna last. Yeah. You never see me again. Now there were so many things that we did as young, but. If your parents found they out, they found out. At the end, bro, you no. get on the straight, the first boat back to Trinidad. <laughs> bro, the raps, man. Fuck. <laughs> that was the only person I actually like. I was scared of. Your dad? Well, your dad? Yes. Oh my yes. god! You're not the only one. That nigga yeah. could yeah, scare the life. Oh, like, bro. I think that's a lot. A lot of black kids yeah. is their dad they oh, fear the most. Because it goes back to what we were saying before, like, most times the dad doesn't show any emotion. Exactly. Yeah. He's like that distant, he's like the powerful figure, but he's like distant as well, too, yeah. so you don't have that, like... Exactly you know? how it is. Bro. I don't know how to explain it. He's just bro, there. Even you even when my dad used to teach me, he used to teach me in fear, bro. Bro, of course. What's two times two? You would never explain it. Oh, my I have gosh. To get, I, when this nigga would teach... When dads <laughs> teach math, it's insane. Bro, it's actually it's insane, crazy bro. because the thing is, like, you're afraid to say nothing. Mm-hmm. But then, if you don't know the answer, you have to say something. Yeah. But then, if you get it wrong, you're fucked. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> bro, it's crazy. I would ra- like, I would rather have said, I don't know, and then you explain it. But you can't even say, I don't know, because yeah. that's even worse yeah, than yeah. getting you the wrong You don't know two times two? <laughs> I remember. I, was in, I still remember, like, it was yesterday. I was in grade five, and I got my math mark. Because, nigga, me and my niggas, we were idiots. We didn't show up to class. But, yo. So, so you didn't show up to class in grade five, right? Yeah, I was a bad kid. Bro, that shit says 50, 50 flat. So I told my mom, and my mom's trying to work with me. She's going through assignments, seeing like where I can get my grades up. And we're in our, we're in my room, and the door's closed. And I hear the, I hear the door like just mess up, bro. mess up. And this nigga, he goes, he's like, "What are you guys doing?" My mom's silent. I'm silent. He walks up to the bed. He grabs the report card. He looks. I just sprint. Yeah. I sprint. Bro, I ran out the house. <laughs> you know, that's I the knew worst. this was going to try and kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know you're done, bro. I would rather take the beating there 
than run away because if oh, I run yeah. away, oh. then they have to actually plan bro, the there's, punishment. There's actually no winning, bro. Bro, when, they, ha- when they have time to oh. plan the punishment, I think that's worse. I think nah, that's bro, so much worse. The punishments worse. get real creative too. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's that's. Bro, you run away. You think you're good when you come home? Oh, nah, bro. bro <laughs> you know, they're set for nah. you, bro. There's no winning, they're bro. Set for <laughs> you. Yeah, my no my winning, dad has a special case for me. Me, the punishments got real, real creative, bro. Nah, but I think the punishments that I would give my kids are more so like the uh, nothing to do with beating. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be more so like the wasses, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah wasses for like five you minutes. <laughs> yeah, but yo, yo, bro. When you get older, you thank me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did your parents ever do like the birds and the bees shit with you? What's that? Which one? Like the, the talk about, you know. I don't know. I never had to yeah. talk with my sex? parents, bro. I can't lie. Nah, I, my what? dad talked to me about it once. What's birds and bees? Yeah. Yeah. It's like sex. Oh, you just that's sex. what you just asked. Oh, that's what I said. I'm yeah. sure you said nah. nah. Nah, like did he? Oh, did they have that conversation yeah. with me? I don't yeah. think so. No, nah, yeah. my like, never had the parents. They kind of skipped it. that conversation and just mm-hmm. said, "Don't, don't get do that." That's, that's it, bro. Oh, I remember. Don't get a girl pregnant. It was the worst conversation of my life. Oh, you actually had probably mad awkward. Nah, because so I switched from Christian school. To public school in grade nine, so I went to Christian school my whole life. But I was like, I was a fuck up, so I was getting in trouble every <laughs> single day. I was always in the principal's office. That I actually had to leave because these niggas wanted to expel me. So uh, my dad's driving me to the new school, and this nigga, he's he's like, Izzy, he's like, you know, if you get in trouble at this new school, I'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> he's like, I'll beat you with the next week. <laughs> so this nigga was this nigga was just threatening my life. Threatening me. before so, you done anything. Well, before I even did anything, <laughs> and then he's like, and then we're finally pulling up in front of the school. He's like, wait. He's like, we need to talk. He's like, the girls at this new school. He's like, they're gonna want to do things to you. <laughs> <laughs> he said they're gonna want to do things like suck on your penis. I was fourteen. This nigga said he said it's called oral sex. <laughs> He said, they don't think it's a sin, but it is. They'll go to hell, and so will you. He's like, don't do it. <laughs> He's like, get out. <laughs> that was the only time you ever talked to me about that shit. He tried. Only to. time. <laughs> and you still did it anyway. And you did it anyway. That year, I was traumatized. Like, so, what, bro, why? ask anybody that went to school with me, I was silent. I didn't talk. Yo, I didn't do shit. Bro, the most I do is this to a girl. That's it. That's it. Because I was terrified of this guy. holding hands and facilitating for a great time. I met up with some rebels, you know. They uh, showed me a different lifestyle. The ties turned out the back. lifestyle you yeah. liked, eh? But it was, it was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> high school was fun. So, um, yeah, high school was lit. I can't lie. Yeah, high school was crazy, bro. High school was crazy. High school was too funny. You know, oh, Shine is really good. So she sent me, um, what's her name? Bro, she says, God, she's waiting. Wait, 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 is your Rizla? Huh? No, that's someone else's babe, bro. Yeah, whenever the doctor doesn't make eye contact, he's lying. <laughs> bro, that's someone else's guess babe. Not, <laughs> that's someone else's guy. Get out of here, bro. That's someone else's babe. She said this babe gets tattoos and will be looking like a damn ball kid. Wow. 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 And, and people would think Shannon is nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if only they knew. <laughs> if only they knew. Imagine. I'm exposing her. Right here. What's like the physical turn offs? That a girl can have for y'all niggas. Physical turnoffs. Um. Shit hair, bro. Shit hair. Does voice count? Yeah, she sound like voice. a nigga, bro. Or if her voice is super high pitched, she gotta, gotta go. go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't like a lot of makeup. Like huh? I don't too like much makeup? Yeah. Uh, S-Pug, yeah, bro. Yeah. S-Pug. I agree with that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much makeup. If you got too, too much, much tattoos, makeup. that's just a turn off. Nah, tattoos are fire, bro. I don't tattoos know are saying. some. I feel depends. like... On certain girls... I feel like, girls, yeah, yo, like four to five, but yeah, nigga, depends. if you're tatted, like, bro, this, this... <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, that's too Oh, I'm trying to say looking like a so damn is it, is, it, is it the tattoos itself or it's like 
the person like with the tattoos. If I don't like sense. the way it looks. Like just when in you're general. fully covered in okay. tattoos. Okay. Yeah, fully covered is crazy. Bro. Yeah, fully yeah. Covered. I don't like, think that shit looks. What are the odds you're gonna come across that though? Yeah, I don't think it's very common. Not a lot of girls do that shit. Yeah, yeah. Like the sleeves. Like the whole body. Not even just a sleeve. I feel like guys do that more. You see more guys with. This is controversial. Like niggas like septums. The septum piercing. Once again, the I think it depends on the girl. The depends on the girl. I think it depends on the girl. Oh, you don't like that shit at all. Why are you getting that? It look like a cow. No, it's the same with guys. Like there's some guys that will get earrings. I'm like, brother, you should have just. I, I don't think there's any nigga that you're no, no, bad guys, you know, some guys that yo, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you're bad on any nigga yeah, to be honest I think it, yeah, there's oh. some people that oh. I'm like yeah okay okay now that, that one nigga because <laughs> 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 he got like oh no <laughs> <laughs> don't, say, don't say nothing else bro <laughs> don't say nothing else look it's also, it's also, it's also the type of earring as well because yeah. not every like for example I know like before I got mine I knew hoops where I can't if I wear studs, I just look like a towel. Bro. Remember the, <laughs> the cross? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! Oh, I don't like those. No. I don't like those. I never bro. wore them. I never wore them. Nah. Huh? They never. I think I tried them on. Do you have earrings? Yeah. You do. I got my shit pierced in grade nine. Yeah, well, before, free, your culture, is, your culture is free, isn't it? Yeah. Fine, I have my ears pierced since I was. I got violated. Huh? I violated for that shit. <laughs> yes. In grade nine, of course. How old are you? Like twelve. Wow. Well, grade nine, you're like fourteen. Oh, fuck, yeah, right. Same difference, man. <laughs> bro, I got I got my ears pierced in like grade five. Hey! Wow. Yeah. Did you go by yourself or you just? Nah, like I went with my mom. Oh, I was oh like, yo, I want to yeah, get it. Yeah, she just said, yeah, you can do it. Yeah. And I got That's it. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, what? Yeah. <laughs> the way you said it no was like way, you stuck nigga. out. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That's hectic. <laughs> okay, like we. Uh, Wait, where are you from? I'm Sudanese. South Sudanese, you know. You can't tell. Like really, huh? Come on, <laughs> you can't tell. Uh, bro, <laughs> my guy's been cooking with the sun, bro. Yes, 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 yo, black, <laughs> yo, black <laughs> at the very sweet of the juice. You, you know? know what I'm saying? Exactly. 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 So, uh, yeah, that, I think I got mine when I was here, like 18. What was your parents? Actually, 19. Oh, God. My parents. <laughs> At that time, it's just like you just explain to them, bro. I think my dad's still really gay explain to, to this day. Huh? To this day, nigga. Because like, you're gay? Nigga, the long bro, hair, man, the yeah. piercing. That's how it be, bro. Bro. It's all time. Oh, all the time. Nah, my, my mom my mom was yeah. not as... You know, as Happy. My, my oh, dad, dad was just like... That was why too. No, but then, at, that, like, at this stage, when I got it, it was mm-hmm. like... They kind of just accepted that I can do things on my own. But then they were still a little bit mad. But then yeah. I was just like, yeah. They just got over. They'll get over. Yeah. What do you want to do? Well, yeah. my dad was just looking at me like with his disgusted look. Like, you know you look gay, right? <laughs> <laughs> bro, your yeah. piercings aren't that bad, but. I don't think that deep, but I, I guess I get it for them. Like, but yeah. I just got one either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, he, no, he only has one. Oh, shit. Only left. Or is it right? It's right. Left. The left. Right. Yeah, don't even explain right it. Don't even explain it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't even explain that. Oh, niggas used to argue. Left and the right. High school law. Niggas used to argue which ear was. It's, it's the right. It's the right. It's the right. It's the right. Right. Yeah, the left ear. They said the right means you're gay. Yeah, the right means you're gay. Bro. But I swear I can't. Oh, you're not wearing. Are you? I'm not wearing. Oh, okay. I remember when I was like, when I first got my ears pierced, bro. I only got one, right? And it was on my right ear. I didn't know. You know when I was like, yo, yo, yo. Let me finish, you know. Let me finish, you know. Like, well, I got it. It was only the right, cause I was just like, bro, you know, I want the right side. I'm like ten, you know, I don't care. Like, my cousin comes, he's older, teenager. He's like, bro, you know, if you only have the right, you're gay, right? I took it out same day, bro. I was like, nah. I took it out the same day. Next week, I was like, bro, nah. I had to get both, bro. I to get both. Like the story behind that, or no? Well, the story behind the behind getting it. I don't know. The right one. Is there? No, let me. There's a story. There always is. There's definitely a story. What do your parents think about like nose piercings though? Oh god, oh, god, like, oh, like a for nigga, guys yeah, for guys, bro, for guys. Bro, even the hair, even the hair and the earrings is already too much. Well, I remember yeah. this one time I was with my dad and he got humbled because these niggas were wearing uh these pink shirts and my yeah. dad's like, you know, you guys look gay, right? And the guy's like, it's for breast cancer. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> my. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> and you dare not laugh too because he's gonna beat your ass when you get home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta be like this, bro. You cannot laugh, bro. Oh, fuck. Nigga got humbled hard, bro. Yeah. 
It's already like, bro, the hair already. Actually, I'm, actually, my parents didn't really care about me growing my hair out because yeah. I always had like grew my hair. I never like had it down, but I always grew it out. Like I had, a, yeah. I was allowed to have like a big fro and shit like that. Yeah. But like the earrings was like, bro, Dude, like, they drew they a lot of that. Like, what? They did not like it at all, bro. I remember I came because I went to Nige right in like 2019. And I came back mm -hmm. and literally at the airport on the way back to uh, Canada, my dad sits me down and he's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> Right, so if you, a few articles. I'll tell my example to your brother. Like, yeah. all this shit, I'm God. just like. A few articles bro, that are you, saying. Um, they're saying that. So essentially, in 1500s in Europe, it was common to see wealthy men dripping in jewelry. It was fashionable for them to wear a single uh, pearl. Then. Um, at some point, gay men started to use piercings to signal to other men that they were homosexual. <laughs> so that was the, like so in those times where it was like you had to do hush hush for homosexuality. It was it, that was just like a way to signify that yeah I'm gay like to put it on the right ear. Oh, like so, to the like, oh yeah, I'm gay. So that's yeah, how it. Crazy. Yeah, that's, like so that. it, that's cool. That's how it came about. So I think that was in the ninth. Oh, yeah 1920s from that yeah. era so 19 so pretty much 1900s that's pretty much where it, like that whole stigma became about yeah. because gay men were doing it to kind of you know differentiate you know, differentiate you know. themselves yeah it's the yeah. bird call without yeah. without call. saying it <laughs> you know, without bird saying call it, is bro. crazy bro yeah how was uh how was it growing up for you guys you guys have a lot of freedom or not freedom in terms of what wants to go first to do whatever you want it depends. Or just general freedom. Like, I had freedom to go and play outside. <laughs> yeah, that's a vibe. I didn't have freedom nah. to like, uh, like go parties. Mm, yeah, I didn't, I didn't have that freedom at well, all. Well, it was come home after school, study, eat, go to bed, bro. <laughs> I remember this one time, I because uh, we used to go uh, to this place called Barrymore to play basketball from like 7 to 10. That was the only thing I was allowed to do. And my dad would pick me up like exactly at 10. So niggas devised this plan. We we're going to go to this party. And the party started at 9. But niggas took forever to leave. We did not leave until 9.30. And we walked there. So it was like a 20, 25 minute walk. Oh, you're done. So I got, I got to this party at 9.55. I enjoyed myself for five minutes. I dabbed niggas up. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. And I start sprinting back. <laughs> Man, I'm sprinting back. And I see this car's following me. Nezo, what? And this, this car's following me. It's gaining on me. And it starts honking. It starts honking. I see this dark ass nigga fucking yelling at me. It's my fucking dad. Bro, I was so angry. And this nigga's just yelling at me. He's like, get the fuck in the car. He's like, you're never leaving the house again. Uh, Bro, it was GG's. <laughs> what about you? For me, it was like. I don't know. In high school, like my parents didn't really want me going to parties and stuff, so I didn't really go until like grade 11, 12, you know, when I stopped caring. You know, <laughs> so I just do it, you know. Yeah, I just I had to start fighting for my freedom, you know. Yeah, That's how, how it is, bro. You know, like, bro, because obviously there's some stuff that you couldn't couldn't do. Like I couldn't go sleep over at my friend's house yeah. until, like, you know, yeah, yeah. until I was like that 18. Was, that, that's a huge oh. one for parents sleeping mm. over at other people's yeah. house. Me and my friends, no we go. had this, we had this <clears throat> theory. It was called uh, you have to break your parents. Okay. <laughs> yeah. kind of fuck. But uh, so basically, <laughs> so what we would do is, no matter how much you get in trouble, you just have to keep doing it. Just yeah. keep, doing it, keep of, doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Because eventually, it worked though. Because eventually, they're yeah, just gonna, gonna give, give up. Me, yeah. Hey, bro. And nigga, my, my dad parents, was not giving up. That special whip, I'm telling you. Trust me, trust me. <laughs> yo, yo, Dawson. Everyone thinks that their parents are unbreakable. There's I thought limit. that way. All my friends thought that There's way. There's a limit. But there's a limit where they there's will just say, There's also a limit to how much pain it. my body can endure, bro. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Now, when did your parents start beating you, though? Me? 18. Um, 18, down. I don't remember the last time I got beat, bro. Like, I think it was probably, like, 16. 16? Yeah. Down, bro. Yeah, bro. My, my parents are actually chill, I would say. Overall, like, even, like, bro. the sleepover shit, I was able to do all of that. I think down. it was because I was a boy, though, because my sister was, uh, they were way more strict than my sister. Yeah. But, like, when I was younger, like, I used to go sleep in my boy's house, like, I didn't really go to parties. I didn't really go to parties. But well, there's school. still like yeah. certain shit I'm allowed to do that my sister's not allowed to do, and she's five years older than me. There you have it. No, I stopped getting beat when I was like 13, though. No. Cause like, yeah. bro, eventually, like, bro, 
I could handle the pain. Like, I wouldn't cry, bro. Yeah. You know, like, I just say, bro, like, <laughs> it was just like, oh, there's no I, point anymore. I remember my last beating, but I was like, bro, I'm not going to stop unless you cry. You know, I had to force out tears, you know, like, bro, I had to force myself to cry, you bro. Because I'm a full on actor. Yeah, bro. Crash pit style. That's, I feel like you were also saying about, you know, you get to a phase, especially. You know, I feel like as guys, you get to a physical point where it's like... Oh, yeah. No I remember yeah. I remember the exact exactly. day. I remember exactly what happened the day <clears throat> I stopped getting beat. So, for my dad, it was more so just because of distance. So, he, bro, you can't travel a whole... <laughs> <of course. laughs> yeah. But my mom, it was... Um, I can't remember what exactly I did, but she slapped me, right? And obviously, I can't beat my mom. <laughs> so, I went up to my room... And I punched up my wardrobe. I finished the wardrobe. She came upstairs. She saw the damage. And then, Spooked. yeah, the next day she said, yeah, I'm not doing this anymore. She's like, I'm not doing this anymore. Because she was like, yeah, like, I think, yeah, the physical and the anger. Yeah, she yeah. said, nah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why she stopped. So, what, uh, you guys got beat by your dad then? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I would say mostly it was mostly my dad. That's the dad, bro. The tag yeah. teams were the crazy. Bro, <laughs> I, was you, I never got tag teams. I don't think I got tag teams. Yeah, yeah, I never got tag teams, bro. Like, what? Really? Really? Yes. Wow, that's crazy. I just told you my mom slapped me, bro. I, bro, it got to there was there were points in England where she would slap me. I say, don't mind where in England. This is not the same white like you know how the white people they can call child services. She said. <laughs> This is it's not your case, bro. Bro. <laughs> right. Now, yeah. The two of them, they were a power couple. Right, literally. <laughs> yeah, Tacky is hectic, what? bro. You know where to run, bro. It's, it's <laughs> usually like one parent's either more mad or like you pissed off. Like you pissed off one parent. Yeah. Did your parents ever make you strip down? I don't think so. That was military punishment. Bro. Nah. Nah, <laughs> yo. It was just you, uh, you go to your room. Nah, my mom, my mom used to. Like, bro, I, we only got like I only got beat by my mom. I only got beat my by my dad like one time, and it was just a slap. You know, my dad's hands are dry, as, <laughs> dry as hell. You know, <laughs> like bro, that shit it was the Horse. worst slap I ever had, bro. Like that shit hurt. Never like, forget it. Yeah, bro. My hand, my face was stinging out there. I was like, oh. There's some beats I had that I will never ever forget. Like it's etched in my memory. And yeah. The biggest thing is for them, they probably don't even remember it. You know. Yeah. But for us, bro, bro they were remember. Like, you have to remember whatever we got. They probably got like oh, 10 times worse. Hundred yeah. percent. It got worse, bro. 100%. Even even when you remind them, they'll just laugh it off as oh, if it didn't I remember hurt. my dad was saying like um he'd have to lie down flat, he'd lie on his stomach, and then they get like a really like long whip and they just beat his shit. Yeah. My mom my mom used to make us lie down on our stomachs and if you move like it restarts the count. Oh my god. You know? <laughs> so like bro, it, bro. Uh, bro. That shit was hectic, bro. <laughs> like I remember so many beatings, bro. Yo, what's your insta by the way? Uh, it's K's up next. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh. My worst beating though I ever got, my sister. Bro, I'm so mad because I was playing video games, right? I was yeah. playing GTA and like we were doing a heist, right? And like the guy crashed the plane at the end of the mission. I'm just like, yo, this guy's stupid as hell. I was like yelling at the yeah. mic and stuff. And my sister's like, yo, to my mom, she's like, yo, he's talking to you type thing, you know? Oh. Hey. I ever got because like she's like bro Yo. if you don't stop lying I'm gonna keep going and I'm just uh, like bro I'm not lying you yeah. know like I, I wasn't talking to you I was talking bro, to the game you know bro. siblings of the world the yeah, bro. were crazy bro I forgot about that <laughs> bro my sister was recording in the corner too <laughs> laughing I was like bro <laughs> I was, bro, <laughs> till this day I still bro, remember, bro. Used to op each other, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> just for our entertainment. Yeah, I used to get my siblings in trouble sometimes. <laughs> just so I could laugh. No, I can't lie. That, that is, is that, that's crazy, <laughs> bro. That was the worst beat what? I ever got, bro. I'll never forget that shit. Like. Bro, <laughs> I was like, oh, I was so bad. You guys don't hold anything against your parents, though, right? Um, nah, nah. nah see, it made me who I am, man. Like yeah, honestly exactly. speaking, it actually made me who I am because, bro, there's so many things that I go through. I'm just like, yo, like, I can't complain because a lot of the reasons why I got beat would be like I'm complaining or I'm doing something wrong. It makes me think about things a lot more. I can't just do things carelessly. Like our racial counterparts, bro, a lot of them just doing reckless shit because they've had, they've barely had any consequences. Well, for me, it's made me like just think a little bit more before I do anything. And I'm not saying this works for everyone. Oh, yeah. But yeah, my, that's my experience. Yeah, because yeah. I think it depends, right? <clears throat> Some people do resent their parents and I think a lot yeah. of them have every right to. Some, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. everybody's like experience, experiences are different. Some people, actually, funny enough, Doxa, um, 
act out more because they because of, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were punished so much well. yeah. that now they have freedom. They literally don't know what to do with it and they literally exactly. just act out. So I think it's like a case by case thing, right? And just Trauma, yeah. you know, some people are traumatized from that. Exactly. You know? Yeah, because yeah, especially like when you're sheltered from a lot of different things yeah. in life. When you're actually given that freedom, bro, you don't want you to go test it all crazy. <laughs> God, you don't want to rebel. No, like when you get beat too much, bro, mm. and you're not, you're not like, <clears throat> especially I feel like a lot of things that, you know, parents would do is like, they'll punish you and they won't explain why. Yeah, I, like, think, I think that's where like, for me, I was lucky because I got the explanation. That's what helped me like kind yeah, of yeah. register yeah, everything yeah. when I was older. Yeah. I think so, when I was younger, I'd do something and I knew, like, I knew the beating would come, you know? Like, I, I knew, like, yeah. like what to do if, like, what to do to not get beat and what to do. I think yeah, it also starts from young age, because if you think about it, it's like when we're younger, too, it's like, it's obviously much harder to explain things to us. So it's like, yeah. when you're young and you do something, your parents will be like, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. It's like, yeah. okay. Well, you're young. It's like, okay, I'm not going to do it. But even as you're aging, they still do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. As opposed to being like, okay. Well, let's talk about it. Why yeah. shouldn't you do this? You know what I'm saying? Let's actually get into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not a conversation. It's more, I'm telling you this, and now you go like go ponder on it like on your own. Yeah. And you come up with your own reasonings and, as to why it was wrong. Or you don't even understand why exactly, it's wrong. Exactly. <coughs> so, niggas start wilding out. Yeah. <laughs> what's, uh, what's one bad thing that you did that your parents <coughs> never figured out about? My mom watches the pod. <laughs> 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 I don't know uh, if I can say it, bro. Probably finessing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I just say finessing, you know, because yeah, it could be anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but finessing, bro, exactly. finessing, bro, it's niggas finessing. was going insane. With that, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably, I'll probably say the same. Like from like shops. Yeah, I used to nick stuff from shops, yeah. bro. Like yeah. socks. Hey, it got bad. Yeah, yeah. nigga, yeah. Niggas went up from socks. Niggas started taking socks. Xbox. <laughs> 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 socks, yeah, Niggas started taking what? consoles from the store, bro. Woo! TV, TV, console. I don't know which niggas that was. Those ones. For me, it wasn't even fear of my parents that stopped me from doing crazy stuff. It was just fear of like, yeah, I can't. I'm too. I can't get arrested yeah. because in my mind, arrested means I'm going straight to like prison where you know there's <laughs> death some crazy niggas, man. That's where it came. But yeah. Yeah. I think that stopped me from doing a lot of crazy stuff. I think my craziest was probably when me and my friends were in grade ten. Uh, I took my mom's car and we went to Ontario. Wow. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> We took that shit and we, left it, we left it like 12 at night. At the age of 15. We yeah. came back at like 7 a.m. No, you were actually wilding. You that's that's wild. That is some crazy That's wild, bro. <laughs> Stole the whip, went to a different bro. province. You're bro, wild, bro. Yo! Dude, I wow. did not put back that gas either. Grade 10, you said? Hmm? Yeah, well, grade 10. Wow. That's crazy. Bro, we didn't even have learners. That's crazy. I didn't even know how to drive. You I definitely got beat after that. Oh, they didn't figure out. They didn't figure out. They didn't figure out. Survive. Damn. Yeah, sure. Might know after this thing. Your sister's just gonna send you straight to. Watch this clip from one eighteen to. Well, I was wildy, man. That is breezy. No, that's that's what. That's bro. That's different. Not lying, bro. Good times, man. But you didn't get caught, so that's a W. They never called me. Yeah, because if you did, you're done. Yeah, they, they can't they can't price. press you for for not getting caught, man. I'm trying to grow up my hair. I even get straightening iron. Like I'm trying to like I'm trying to make that shit straight. <laughs> I'm pushing it to the side a little bit. My mom sees it, so I come sit down. Shave down, gone. Bro. gone. Bro. Damn, bro. That shit was tough. Shaving head, that is. My you know, hair was never I was never, lucky. I never, I never got that treatment because my dad was a barber, so like. My hair was always looking crisp. Right. It, it wasn't like a punishment because yeah. that's his cross, you yeah. know. I was allowed. I was uh, for style. I was allowed to leave a little bit of a strip. Yeah, bro, that's and the strip bro, too. Damn, a little bit of a strip, a little bit. But that wasn't up until like grade seven. That I was allowed to do that. You before guys, before it's Damn. Bro, I don't know what, bro. They be doing these kids bogus, bro. bro. Back then, niggas got girls off jokes, like bro, because we was not good looking at all. <laughs> Nigga, my clothes was from Superstore. Nigga, super 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 so I was rocking, I was rocking fucking Joe Fresh. Yeah, was real, man. Look. I remember niggas were trying to play uh, hockey at lunch. So all these white kids, they're bringing their sticks. I don't even know where they get that shit from, but it's like expensive stuff, like six, seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Nigga, at least my dad got me something. He got it from Dollarama though. <laughs> but nigga, my shit snapped, bro. I was a bum. 
Like, I was a bum. <laughs> Certified <laughs> bum. Family. I knew it was bad when, yo, you know, back to school, clothes shopping, bro. Yeah. Really? I was happy you're about to get some new shoes. <laughs> Go straight to Walmart, fam. Walmart. Walmart, like, you yo, know, I had the Tim's from Walmart. Bro. Yeah, oh, bro, I had it's fresh though. I had the Tim's. I had the shacks. Clothing, bro. bro, I never. Oh. Yo, I my shit was from Primark. Yeah, bro, like, oh. like, ooh, Primark basics. Yeah, little Primark life. basics. Well, a lot of my stuff was tailored as well. Damn. So Damn. even this Nigerian culture, like a lot oh, of okay. things get tailored. Yeah, that's so, true. Tailored here is different yeah, from yeah. tailored back there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. But yeah, when we were in England, yeah, Primani, bro, straight to... But then, because my parents kind of knew Star, I never really, like, went off course. But, that being said, when I dressed myself, okay, oh. you know what? Let me oh show God. you. you have my, my auntie <laughs> sent me a picture today. This is the worst thing she could have done to me today. I always spoke my mood. She sent I remember me a when... picture. Yeah, it oh, was so bad. Used to put on bro. crazy fists back then. Yeah, it that's was what terrible. Saying. My it first pair was, was bro, the shit too. Once I got my first pair of Nikes, I never took them off, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like I never took them off for like two years. <laughs> oh my <laughs> day. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell? It was bad, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, it's not. Look. It's the jeans, bro. I don't know what I was doing. Bro. <laughs> the heavy cuffs. Bro, you used to think you were hip, too. That was the thing. Bro, yeah. criminal behavior. You definitely got to put that on the screen. I can't lie. That was, <laughs> was, yeah, was, yeah, you got to put that on the screen. Yeah, they were they were yeah. yeah. That's when they got their first pair of skinny jeans. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every nigga <laughs> thought they was like him. <laughs> Whoa. I remember thinking I was so tough, nigga. Bro, I remember. <laughs> jeans? Yeah. <laughs> That shit was the vibe back then. I remember when I first got like my first like you know brand sweater. I was so happy. Never took it off too, <laughs> like, bro. I tell you, it was like a hundred dollar sweater, bro. bro. I never took it off, bro. Like oh, good time, I used to bro. wear it, like three times a week. So, bro. Like I swear, bro. Like, uh, uh, oh, damn, bro. Did you guys have to wear school uniform at any point? Yeah, mm, no. Nah. Pretty much my whole from grade one all the way up until grade ten, I wore yeah. uniform. That uniform thing was, was uh, until like I was in Button boarding school, shorts, so I was bro. lucky. Nigga, it saves you from getting baked a lot, though. Yeah, because that obviously was niggas was going up in fucking shit. Walmart, Joe Fresh. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like bro, I said Joe Fresh. Fresh. Bro, I stopped wearing Walmart clothes and like superstore clothes until like, bro, probably like grade ten until I got yeah. a job. You know, like, bro, then I just started buying my own clothes, but. But you can't do anything about it, you know, just yeah. your situation. That's a brave man. I feel like that's, that's part of the reason why niggas got into finessing so heavy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, like, bro, niggas are tired of getting baked. <laughs> God. <laughs> Joe Fresh? Bro. Joe Fresh. <laughs> Joe Fresh. Bad, bro. Not even just like a plain white tee, you know? Like, actual <laughs> drip, fam. Like, <laughs> you're, going to, you're getting your drip from Joe there. Like, Fresh. Yeah, like, <laughs> right here. Yeah. <laughs> No, man. Oh, oh. It segue to a completely different topic. The thing you said about Lori Harvey. Oh, all about so, the crazy thing is Lori Harvey. Oh, our friend. I, no, I, I actually it, watched yeah. it because I thought she might actually say something with sense. Did you listen to it? Yeah. What did she say? What happened? I'll play it now for oh, okay. so we can all listen. What? What? Did you send it to the, I the other to, account? I I sent it. Yeah, and I also sent it to you. I think. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, go ahead. All right. So, Smart. The, <laughs> so the caption was Lori Harvey says almost getting married at a young age right. prompted her to start dating on her own terms. I blame it all <laughs> on Steve Harvey. <laughs> you think it made sense? In yeah, two, it does. I mean, to a degree, yeah. yeah. I it mean, does. you don't have to it spread does. your legs to get to know someone. <sighs> but what makes you think <laughs> But you know, it could it could see, yo, Black no. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Is, that, this? No, but is it, that not the reason it for could conversations? Be like dating experience oh, too, wow. It could just be dating experience too though. 